Hi, I'm Tom Malogany for Inside EVs, and I'm standing in front of a 2021 Firecracker Red Jeep Wrangler 4xe in the Safari trim. We're going to do the Inside EVs 70 mile an hour highway range test on this plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Now the Jeep 4xe is EPA range rated at 21 miles per charge. That's the combined EPA range rating for city and highway. However, the highway EPA range rating, which we looked up, is also 21 miles per charge. The city rating was somewhere around 22.3 or 22.5. So the combined rating is actually the same as the highway rating, 21 miles of range. It's a little disappointing considering that Jeep had said when this came to market, it was going to have a EPA range rating of about 25 miles of range. And you might say, well, it's only four miles less. Yeah, if it was only four miles less on a car that had a 200 mile range, it wouldn't matter much. But the difference between 25 miles and 21 miles is actually large when you look at it at a percentage. In any event, I'm charging up now, just about 100% charged. We're gonna hop out onto Route 287, which is right behind me. You might even be able to hear the cars whizzing by. I selected this charging station because it's right next to the highway, and I'm literally gonna be driving like a quarter of a mile before I get on the highway. I'll be able to get right up to 70 miles an hour and drive this guy until the gas engine kicks on. So. I've had it for a few days now, and around town, it does pretty well. The temperature for range is actually really good right now. It's moderate, it's like about 80, 82 degrees. So, uh, you know, the conditions are, are fine for range, but I've been averaging between 25 and 30 miles of range per charge. That's at lower speeds and around town. I'm sure the highway is going to be a little less, but we'll find out in a few minutes just how far it goes. Before we get into that, don't forget, please, Click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. So I'm out here on Route 287 cruising along at 70 miles an hour and boy, this uh, state of charge is dropping quickly. Uh, I think we're gonna be super lucky if we get near 20 miles of range, but we'll see. A couple of things to point out. I set the tire pressure for the manufacturer's recommended tire pressure, which is 36 pounds per square inch. The tires were super soft when I when I checked them. I think the previous journalist might have been doing some off-roading or driving on sand or something because they were set down to 26 pounds per square inch. They were super low. Um, so I set it up to the 36. Uh, there's very little wind today. Even though you might hear a lot of wind noise in this video, that's because the Jeep is just windy. You get that through. Uh, only about three miles per hour crosswind. Uh, we're driving in all electric mode. I have max regen set. The air conditioning is on because it's about 84 degrees. I have it set to 70 degrees and on the lowest fan setting, fan setting one. Um, I checked the speedometer to GPS. It's actually right on 70 miles an hour is a true 70 miles an hour and uh, we'll see how far we go. One thing I want to note is the closest vehicle to compare this to would be the Toyota RAV4 Prime. The RAV4 Prime has an 18 kilowatt hour battery and the EPA range rating is 42 miles per charge. This vehicle has a 17 kilowatt hour battery. The EPA range rating is 21 miles per charge. So it has only, the RAV4 Prime has one more kilowatt hour and it has double the all electric range. But this Jeep is a different animal than a RAV4. This is really optimized for off-roading, you know, extreme driving. So you would expect it to not be as efficient. It's got these big, beefy, uh, 275, 55, 20-inch wheels. Uh, and it's just, the setup is totally different. The drivetrain, the powertrain, it's not optimized for efficiency. It's optimized to get you wherever you want to go off-road. And it does that really well. Just found, found it interesting that the battery is almost the same size and it literally has half the EPA range rating. Any event, we're going to check back in when we are at 50% state of charge. We'll see how far we've gone. All right, so we're at 50% state of charge. We went 12.1 miles. 
I couldn't capture a video of it because the state of charge was dropping so quickly. It happened so fast, I couldn't even capture it. That's what happens with this uh, uh, plug-in hybrid where, uh, you know, it's like how many percent drops every minute. It's not like uh, BEVs that I test where once it hits 50%, I've got like a minute or two to capture pi pictures of it. This was just like 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, and it, I wasn't able to capture it. But take my word for it, we went 12.1 miles. That's better than I thought we were going to go. So we might actually it, it beat 20 miles of range. We might even beat the EPA range rating. We'll find out really soon. And I mean really soon, because I think in like 10 minutes, we'll be down to zero. Check back when we're done. We're back home now. I've got this bad boy plugged back in to charge her up. So how well did we do? It's a little complicated. Let me explain. So most plug-in hybrids have an artificial wall in the accelerator pedals travel, meaning you hit a certain point and there's resistance. It's an artificial wall. If you keep pressing harder, you can press beyond that. And what happens is that's when the ICE engine turns on and adds additional power. The Jeep 4xe does not have any kind of artificial limit. It doesn't warn you when the gas engine's gonna turn in. It just decides on its own when it's needed. Now it does that even when it's in all electric mode. It will just turn the engine on if the vehicle decides that it needs the extra power. So I'm about 19 miles into this range test, a little, little beyond that. And I begin to go up an incline and I have to give it a little more power to hold the 70 miles an hour. The gas engine turns on and it jumps into hybrid mode. So I quickly press the all electric button. And as we crest the top of the hill, it goes back into all electric mode. Now it did that for two tenths of a mile. Continue driving. We get a little bit beyond the 20 mile mark. Same thing happens. I'm going up a hill. I'm trying to feather the accelerator, but I need to maintain 70 miles an hour. The gas engine turns on. Again, two tenths of a mile, it shuts off. So now four tenths of a mile, I'm in hybrid mode. Continue driving. The battery becomes fully depleted and the ICE engine turns on for good at the 22.2 mile mark. So I'm gonna subtract the 0.4 miles that we drove in hybrid mode and call this at 21.8 miles. Now I know it's not a perfect range test. The problem is where I live here, I don't have any perfectly flat highways where I can drive 22, 23 miles and uh, not have to worry about going up even a slight incline. These weren't big hills. The fact of the matter is the, the Jeep 4 by adds that power when it thinks you need it and you can't tell it not to. You, there's no setting that you could say, under no circumstances do you turn the ICE engine on. So, like I said, this isn't perfect, but I do believe even if it was on flat, perfectly flat ground, the results would be about the same. I think we were looking at somewhere around 22 miles at 70 miles an hour in similar conditions. And I mean the temperature, I had the air conditioning on and so forth, not a tremendous headwind. All those things uh, are gonna affect the range. And that's why we like to remind our followers here at Inside EVs that these 70 mile an hour highway range tests we do, they're just kind of like a guideline of what you can should expect under similar conditions. You can, uh, and you will, if you take a, a Jeep 4xe and do 70 mile an hour range tests in a variety of conditions and temperatures, you're gonna get all different results. So this is just kind of like a guideline. And, uh, you know, we do repeat the test. Sometimes Kyle does the test with a vehicle. I take the vehicle, do the same test, and then we'll try to combine the or average out the results. Uh, but, you know, in these conditions, I'm pretty confident that what you'll experience is somewhere right around 21, 22 miles of range on the highway, which uh, coincidentally is the highway and the combined EPA range rating for the Wrangler 4xe. So, you know, uh, in this instance, the EPA range rating was right on target. There's one last thing I wanna mention before we take off. So now I have the vehicle plugged back in and charging. What Jeep did with the onboard charging was really good with this vehicle. Most plug-in hybrids only have 3.3 kilowatt onboard charging capabilities. This can charge at 32 amps. So I'm pulling 7.6 kilowatts right now. This guy will be fully recharged in about two hours, just a touch over two hours. Now the 17 kilowatt hour battery has about 15 kilowatt hours usable. So at 7.6 kilowatts, 
two hours, I'm unplugging and I'm done. That's great because you get a lot more utility out of it in fully electric mode. I could take this thing and drive it for 20, 25 miles today, come home, plug it in, and then two hours later, go out and drive it for another 20, 25 miles. It's easy to drive this thing 50 miles in all electric mode in one day. So I think that's really good. And I think it's important that plug-in hybrids have robust onboard charging. Unfortunately, most manufacturers today don't do that. They put a simple 3.3 kilowatt onboard charger in the vehicle. And you know what? The customer doesn't get to experience it in uh, as all electric mode as much as they possibly could. And I think that's a shame, but Jeep didn't drop the ball. They did a good job with the level two onboard charging. That's it for the 70 mile an hour high range test for the 2021 Jeep 4xe. Don't forget, please click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.